Welcome to Jimmy Bowen and Friends. Each week's episode features Jimmy Bowen and a special guest like John Schneider, Cody McCarver, Jake Hoot, and more. Today's guest is Jamie Baxter. Now, here's Jimmy Bowen. Well, thank you, folks. We appreciate you being here tonight. Thank you for viewing into the Jimmy Bowen and Friends show. Thanks for being here with us in the audience and all you folks watching us out there on live television. We appreciate you so much. Glad to be here. We're so excited about having this show, and thank you for tuning in with us. Our guest tonight is Mr. Jamie Baxter, great singer, songwriter. Looking forward to his show, and I know you will be glad you'll see him. And, and uh, looking forward to possibly doing some dates with him maybe out on the road. We never know. And, uh, but thank you so much for viewing with us. And uh, we're going to start the show off with a song that um, was written by a good buddy of mine, Wayne Nelson, with the Little River Band. And uh, hope that you enjoy it. One called Round and Round. <laughs> round and round. Driving through the streets of this little Kansas town. Streets that go nowhere but it's solid ground. My brother came home from California just to spend a few days on our Paris, Kansas farm. And when we asked him what he wanted to do, he said, I just want to drive around in circles. We all looked at him like he was nuts. And he said, this is no joke, man. I am serious. So we all jumped in the car and headed into town that consists of seven stores and one home. There's more Jimmy Bowen and Friends coming up right after this short break. Welcome back to Jimmy Bowen and Friends. 
Well, thank you, folks, and welcome back to the show. Our guest tonight is a great singer and songwriter, and uh, but if you would make welcome, Mr. Jamie Baxter, to our show tonight. <laughs> Jamie, it's great to have you here, man. Thank you. It's really, it. really exciting to have you here. It's cool to be here. So, uh, what have you been up to these days? Well, I've been hanging out a lot at the house lately, but uh, I've been working on new music and uh, released a project in November of last year, and uh, that was an EP with a five-song EP with a title track, which I did a music video back in my hometown, which I wrote the song about. Where are you, where and, are you uh, from? By, by just by. I'm from the very southern tip of Ohio. It's, it's called Cold Grove, Ohio. Okay. So it's around the river of Ashland, Kentucky, and Huntington, West Virginia. Yeah. In that tri-state area. So, uh, yeah, southern Ohio, but I've been down in this area in middle of Tennessee since 2012, and uh, just playing gig after gig after gig, and finally got the, around to releasing music, and we're just, uh, we started a new project five, six months ago, and, uh, you know, we're going to hopefully have it done by the fall, so. Well, that's good. That's good. Now, did you compose any of those songs? Did you write those songs, or did you get other songwriters? I wrote about half of them, but I had some, my buddies who uh, are great songwriters, too. I recorded some of their songs as well. Yeah. But I just love great country songs. Well, that's good. That's good. Did you write the one you're going to perform tonight? The first I wrote, uh, wrote the first one, Memories Don't Fade Here. That's about my hometown, so. Well, that's good. That's, that's good. Uh, well, let's, uh. Put our hands together and make welcome Mr. Jamie Baxter on his new song. Yeah, my hometown 
Don't go away. Jimmy Bowen and friends will be right back. Welcome back to Jimmy Bowen and friends. Jimmy, that was great, man. I love that. I love that. Let's talk a little bit about your history. Okay. As a kid, I'm always intrigued with songwriters. I really am. Yeah. Um, I've never had the talent to be a songwriter. I come up with one-liners, and that's about it. Did you start as a child writing? I mean, when did music really become part of your life? Not really. I mean, I always loved music, obviously, but I'm kind of a late bloomer, to be honest with you. I, uh, I did... You know, I did drama through high school. I was always, always loved entertaining right. folks, but didn't get into really country music heavy until 19, 20 years old. So I started playing guitar and trying to mess around with writing songs and, right. and stuff. But I really didn't get serious about it until I moved to Nashville. I was 26. So I'd already had, already had a job and a house and all that stuff. And, yeah. and, and uh, kind of got tired of it. And so I sold everything, moved to Nashville and started over. So yeah, living the dream. Here, like everybody yeah. Else, huh? Oh, yeah. I've been here <laughs> seven and a half years, going on eight. So so what inspires your songs? It just Is it something that may have happened to you as a child or something as an adult? Or well, just... I'm the kind of guy, if I'm going to sit down and write a song, I want it to be, it means something. I, it's hard for me to just lock myself in a room and write songs every right. day. It's Something's got to inspire me to do it. And uh I don't know, like the Memories Don't Fade Here song that's the title track of my EP, the music video. I wrote that song several years ago, right when I moved to Nashville. And I was just like that guy that moved away from your hometown. You miss it. Yeah. And you're sitting yeah. on a porch. You're like, oh, man, am I, did I do the right thing? So I, I wrote a song for my hometown, and uh, that's where that song came from. That's good. But other songs, I mean, you know, they come to you here and there. But like, like I said, I don't write every day, to be honest. I mean, but when, it's, when something comes to me, I will write it. Right. And, uh, I don't know. I've always thought of it this way. If, he, if I write a song that's good, great. But if I love a song by a great songwriter, I'm going to cut it too. I mean, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't bother me to cut right. a song that I didn't write. Right. So. Well, do you find yourself as a performer when you get a song by a different songwriter, do you feel that you have to do it their way or do you feel that you've got your way of doing it? Um, I mean, I think sometimes it's yes and sometimes no. I mean, if, if I think that it doesn't really need to be changed that much, I won't change it a whole lot. You know? Right. But, yeah, right. sometimes you put your own spin on things, too, you know. Change a word to here and there or phrasing. But, yeah, I, I think that it goes both ways on that. Yeah, I think the way it is with me. The song that you're getting ready to do now, did you write it or was this it from? This one I did not write. My good buddy David Norris wrote this song. He, I write songs with him. And uh, Clay Underwood wrote this song. They wrote this song together. And I knew it before I even knew Dave and uh I saw him down at the floor of Bama playing this song to Riders Round. I went, dude, you wrote that song? I love that song. And uh, he said, yeah, man, well, thanks. We got become friends and, and started writing songs together. And I was like, man, I really want to cut that song, Neon well, Gray. Cool. He goes, well, go for it. Said, well, well, good deal, I'm going to put it on the project. So. Well, good deal. Will you do it for us? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Jamie Baxter, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. said country so I stopped in for a beer but I don't hear no steel guitars playing if you want to keep me here just look in the corner underneath the cobwebs and dust there's an old jukebox hiding all covered in rust Dust it all Turn it all Drop the needle To these old country songs Some said it's long gone But brother, they're wrong It'll never pass away All the legends never Visit the neon gray. See, you got swinging doors. It's all dust on the floor. And 
These autographed day by tense of the old troubadour. But the songs at your playing, I don't recognize. Bartender, if you don't want to false advertise. To these old country songs Some say it's long gone But brother, they're wrong It'll never pass away All the legends never fade If you visit the neon gray Well, it ain't set in stone So pay your respect Drop quarters like flowers, watch them rise from the dead. Dust it off, turn it on. If you visit the neon gray, all these legends never fade. If you visit the neon We'll be back with more Jimmy Bowen and Friends in just a moment. Welcome back to Jimmy Bowen and Friends. Thank you, folks, for tuning back in with us. We'd like to uh, give a big thank you for Mr. Jamie Baxter coming on the show tonight. Did y'all enjoy Jamie? What a fabulous singer-songwriter. We do appreciate him so much, and uh, hopefully we can do some stuff out there, as I said earlier, get out there on the road together and do some great shows. We really look forward to that. We're going to end our portion of the show tonight with a song that, um, actually, I did a bluegrass version of this song, and um, it's an old Gordon Lightfoot tune, and it's been done all kind of different ways, and hope that you enjoy it, called Early Morning Rain. Turn back high above the clouds. 
Big Jet. 